Hello Ravens, welcome to ONW Now. I'm Mallory McDonald alongside Jacob Guernsey, and today's Spirit Day is Country vs. Country Club. In today's show, we'll bring you stories on the blood drive, our school favorite word from the halls, and more. We would like to send our thoughts and prayers to those who have been affected by the Parkville, Florida high school shooting. Seventeen are believed to be dead at this point, and dozens are injured. The suspect in custody is a former student at the school named Nicholas Cruz. ONW's very own Cameron Jones was recognized as one of Kansas's top youth volunteers of 2018 by the Presidential Spirit of Community Awards. The judges recognized her as a distinguished finalist for her impressive community service activities. She was received an engraved bronze medallion. Um, I have a golf tournament each year for suicide prevention, and it's been happening for three years, and we've raised over $60,000 with that. So my leadership from that has shown, um, has let me have the has let me been nominated for the award. Congrats to Cameron on this outstanding achievement. This weekend in Wichita, ONW Scholar Bowl won their first ever state championship. The team was led by senior captain Alex Andrew Booz, along with Alex Schuler, Carson Cracker, Maddie Beck, Shane Demar, and Kaya Scott. My hope is that we can just keep on working and keep on getting it more publicity to where. Uh, it can really grow as a club and to where it can become a part of the national uh, or the local fixture in ONW. ONW Student Council holds blood drives every year. And this week it was on February 13th. We had a great turnout and big thanks to everyone who donated this year. Congrats for, to Stuco for putting together and running such a great event. We heard from Jackson Butler and Olive Norwich about the overview of the drives. This Tuesday, February 13th, ONW Stuco hosted the second blood drive of the year. Jackson Butler talks about what it takes in order to organize an event this big. The biggest part is just staying organized, um, calling donors, um, both to get them to donate and to donate food, um, just things like that, a lot of logistics that uh, go into it um, months before. It takes a total team effort to get it all to work. Olive Norwich tells us why she chose to donate. I know it's a benefit. Um, like I'm really into the medical field, so I really see like how uh, people struggle with like blood problems, and yeah, I just really like to do something about that. Overall, the 2018 Spring Blood Drive was very successful. This has been Riley Kramer and Devin Matthews. Now back to the desk. Now let's throw it over to sports to the latest on Raven Athletics. Welcome to sports. Let's catch up on boys and girls basketball from Tuesday night, wrestling from Saturday, and bowling results. Boys and girls basketball took on Gardner Edgerton Trailblazers this past Tuesday night. Before the tip-off, the team has some fun in the hallway. To start the game, Luke Waters knocks the ball loose and loses control. After the Ravens regain control, Waters knocks down a three-pointer off the pass. A few minutes later, Jackson Nicodemus beats his defender with a pump fake drives to the hoop and lays it in for two. After a Gardner basket, Nicodemus heaves the pass up to the court to Midyet, who goes up and under for the layup. A few possessions later, Luke Water dumps the ball down to Aaron Reynolds in the paint, who finishes strong in the paint with a good roll. To finish off the game, Reynolds finds Midyet on, on the backdoor cut, who drops in, in another two points. The Ravens triumphed over Gardner Edgerton, 57 to 38. Girls basketball. Prior to the game, Haley McCormick waves the camera as the cheerleaders are cheering the girls on. Early in the game, Sarah Beth Gilner passes it off to Liz Thomas, who splashes a three and jogs down the court. With two minutes left in the third quarter, Kaylee Kappelman collects the board and goes throughout contact with the two-point finish increasing the Raven lead to five. A few possessions later, Kappelman puts the defender through a spin cycle and again goes through the strong hoop, goes through the strong hoop with a nice post fade. During the timeout, Brandstrom goes through his plans with the starters. After a missed free throw by Mary Reber, Erica Bay fights for the rebound with the cherry on top and the Lady Ravens walk away with a win over the Terrell Brazers, 44-38. Last Saturday, the Raven wrestlers traveled to Olathe East High School to compete in the Sunflower League Invitational. 
Sophomore Caden Howard dominated the day, taking first in the 106 weight class, still only having two losses on the season. Sophomore Quinton Talbert and senior Trevor Adam finished runner-up in the 113 and 170 weight class. Finally, seniors Brandon Medina, Cody Marlette, and Seth Zagunis placed third, fourth, and sixth, respectively, in their weight classes. The team had 11 placers in the top six, and the team took fifth overall. Congrats, guys. Their next meet will be regionals on Friday at Lawrence High School. The Raven Bowlers competed at the Varsity League meet this past Tuesday on the 14 teams. Both Ravens girls and boys placed sixth place. Congrats to Cameron Kotwitz, who took sixth overall for the boys, and Malia Smotherman, who took second overall for the girls. Check back next week for more sports updates and tune in Friday for the next Raven Roundup. Let's send it back to the news. Now let's take it to Ainsley and Lena with everyone's favorite segment, Word from the Halls. Are you smarter than a fifth grader edition? Three primary colors. Like red, orange, yellow, blue. Yellow, green, blue, right. purple. Blue, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. Because red and blue make purple. Yellow? Uh, red, orange, blue, and green. Red, yellow, and blue. blue. Name the five oceans. Uh, Indian, Pacific, Arctic, Atlantic, and... Uh, Oh, what am I missing? Did I say Indian? In uh, Pacific, uh, Atlantic, Atlantic, Indian, uh, uh, Northern. <laughs> uh, that was good. Okay. Uh, Pacific, Indian, Atlantic, Arctic. I don't know. S s Southern. Yeah. Which planet is closest to the sun? Which planet is closest to the sun? That would be. That'd be the Earth. <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn. All right. Uranus. Uranus? Uh, okay. Mercury. Good job. Oh, man. This is bad. I don't know. Mars! No, Mars is the other one. Uh, Mercury. Uh, Mercury. Um, what state is the Grand Canyon in? Oh. Africa. Uh. Mm. North Dakota? Nevada. It's in Arizona. I, Arizona, I'm sorry. Um. Uh, well, it's very close to Nevada. Yeah, it is. What is the mitochondria? Um. The mitochondria? That's some type of bone. It's, it's, it's a back problem. Whenever you, you, you'll know about it when you get older. The powerhouse of the cell. The powerhouse right. of the cell. <laughs> a snake? Oh, Mina, what's that? We just did this. I took a quiz over that today. It's the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> All right, name the four corner states. Washington. Florida. I don't know. I don't know. Oh no, the four corner states is Colorado. That is Colorado. <laughs> Wyoming. Mexico. Wyoming. And, uh, what? Not Wyoming. Not Miami. I thought you meant like quarter. <laughs> Florida? I don't think that's right. Washington. Uh, Not the four corner. Like, you know, the four, like. Oh, the, the one that I'll connect at yes. the. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Four corner, Four corner states. states. Not the corners. I mean, like the corners, the one of that the cut. United States, like, or around yes. Kansas, around no, no, no. Kansas. The touching okay. ones. Not the the touching states. Like you mean, like Washington? Like they, no, no, no. They touch like they all like four states touch. Oh. They come at one point. Oh, that's like. Is that like Wyoming? Utah, New Mexico, Colorado, Colorado and Arizona. Takes over if the president and the vice president both die. Speaker of the house. Speaker of the house. Speaker of the house. Oh, you better know this. I don't know, bro. It's the Speaker of the House. Yeah, I knew that. Speaker of the House. The House of State or something like that. <laughs> the ruler of the state. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but that's not it. Oh, uh, that I'm one house dude. Yeah, that's correct. What's his name? Who is it? Paul Ryan. The, um, I know this. The Senate of something. The Speaker of the House. That was close. And then, what is the fastest bird on foot? It's not an ostrich, is it? 
It's an ostrich. Uh, on foot? Ostrich. The blue footed booby. Is that right? <laughs> Isn't it a cheetah? What? A bird? A bird? <laughs> <laughs> That's all for this week's edition of ONW Now, Ravens. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven Daily and on Snapchat at ONW Now. For Raven Daily, this has been Mallory MacDonald and Jacob Guernsey. Don't forget to catch tomorrow's episode of the Raven Minute, and we'll see you at the Sweetheart Dance this weekend.